Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of circle graphs, specifically how we can solve word problems that ask you to interpret information found on them, and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So we see a traditional circle graph over here on the left, and we see that um, if you are looking at the problem, you see that there were students that were asked to name their favorite Avenger. So we have Iron Man, Catch America, Thor, Hulk, Black Widow, and Hawkeye. And the results are displayed in a circle graph, but what you see in the circle graph are percentages. So if we were to add all of these percentages here, uh, they would add up to 100%. But take a look at what we have here. It was asked of 50 students, and we've got two questions we're going to answer. And these two questions are asking for numbers, not percentages. So we need to know, out of the 50 students that were asked to name their favorite Avenger, first, how many students chose Thor as their favorite? So let's look at that one. So 12% chose Thor. So how do we change that into a actual number? So we need to find 12% of 50. Well, we've got two different options. I'll show you both ways to solve that. So first, when we see this of, we can think of it as times, right? And so we can change this 12% into a decimal. And we could just say 12% times 50. So we can, we can do that. And so let's go ahead and just do 50 times 12. We're going to deal with that decimal afterwards. So 2 times 50 is going to be 100. And then 1 times 50. So there we go. We've got our... 600 as total. Now we bring our decimal back in. There's two digits behind the decimal in the factors, so there's two digits behind the decimal in our product. 6.00, so really just six. So it looks like there were six students, even though 12% seems kind of big. Out of 50, it's only six actual students that chose Thor. Now the other way to do that is to take this 12% and instead of changing it to a decimal, we change it into a fraction. So 12% is really 12 over 100. And we can just do multiplication straight across. If we turn 50, which is a whole number, into a fraction, any whole number can be changed into a fraction if you put it over 1. So 50 once, and we just multiply straight across. That's the beauty of multiplying with fractions is you could just go straight across. So we need 5 times 12 is 60. So 50 times 12 is going to add an extra zero. So I've got 600 over 100. You reduce that improper fraction, 6 over 1, so that also equals my 6. So we could do that with all of these here and find numbers. And we're going to have to do that for our second problem, which is how many more students chose Captain America than Hulk? And right now Captain America is sitting at 30%. Hulk is sitting at 12%. So we need to go ahead and change both of those into our uh, whole numbers here. So let's say, let's do one of each. So 30%, let's change that into 0.3. And let's do 0 0.3 times our 50. That's gonna, be, that's gonna be a little bit easier. So let's do 50 times three, that's going to be 150. One digit behind the decimal. Let's bring that decimal in. Okay, so we've got 15. So 15 students chose Captain America. Now we need Hulk, 12%. Let's do that as fractions, just to show you that you could do it either way. So that's going to be 12 over 100. Multiply that by 50 over 1. And you see that we are going to get our 600 over 100 because we already had that calculated, right? That was 6. This Hulk is going to be 6% just like that Thor is 6%. So now we've got our 15 minus 6, and that's going to equal 9. Now, one other way to do that would be to take our two percentages, our 30%. Minus our 12%. Go ahead and subtract those percents. You're going to get 18%. Then, if you find 18% times your 50, well, you are going to get that 9. It's just going to be slightly different right here. There we go. And that is how you solve circle graphs.